All right, Nissan Frontier. Got a package from Flagship One. They refurbished the original engine computer because they didn't have the correct one in stock. And they have a service of you send them the computer and within a week or two, they'll at least say, can we fix it? Can we not fix it? Well, this one they said they fixed it. It works on the bench. So let's plug it into the truck, see what happens. Um, it would be really cool if it works because this customer doesn't have any other options here. You can see that there is our TV around there. They definitely have this thing apart. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go. Unplug the two bulk connectors. One. This is the reason I only put the top. Bolt in because the bottom one is basically unaccessible. Short of tearing apart the entire fuse box or something. So we're gonna keep that in our spare pile. Shove this thing in here. Place your bets now. Is this thing going to fire up? Uh, we might have to program the key again, which is not a big deal. Alright, here we go. Key. So the red light is on. It will not start. So let's plug in the Think Tool Pros and program this key. This time I'll actually show you how to do it. All right, so let's jump in, see if it reads the VIN. Nissan. Okay. Okay, is that the right VIN? 8379 Frontier 2010. Yes, the VIN is correct. So we are talking to the engine computer. That's a good thing. I'm just going to scan all the modules. Hey, the computer is back online. So, so far, flagship one. Um, we're doing good. Okay, so in our ECM we have this, obviously the immobilizer code, go to Nat's uh, Nissan anti-theft system. After replacing or installing operation or when performing key registration. <clears throat> so replace ECM, yes. So old password before 2010, 0672, new password after 2010, 3971. I think we're going to use the new one. So 3971, okay. Okay. Remove insert a key from the ignition cylinder so that registered it
Okay. Just remove the next key away for three more seconds. And the security indicator should blink every three seconds. Okay. Let's see if we can start the engine. Woohoo! Sweet. I like it. Let's try again. There's a four wheel drive indicator. No check engine light. So let's go into our ECM one more time. Unbelievable. This is really awesome. Read fault code so we can clear that out. Sweet. It's not looking for a transmission. The idle is looks to be perfect. It was coming up with this steering angle sensor code in the ABS, but there might have been a glitch, so I'm going to delete these while we're here. All right, clear out those codes. No DTCs. And BCM says low pressure rear. I think you might have taken out all the tire pressure sensors, but let's see here. Air pressure monitor. They're all at zero, so yeah, that's not a concern. Let's take it for a test drive. Make sure all the monitors set. I am really impressed. Flagship one, the fact that you can send in your old computer, now depending on make and model, they don't do all, but this one, they fixed. I mean, it works. It's the original computer, no check engine light. Really cool. So shout out to you guys. Frontier is driving absolutely beautifully. Almost all the monitors have been complete. Uh, we just have EVAP not ready and O2 sensor monitor not ready. So that's it. I even fixed the squeak with a little bit of uh, fluid film. The left lower shock bushing it was basically destroyed and it sounded like a spring was snapping. It was like eh, 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 eh. but uh, with a stethoscope and a little uh, common sense narrowed that down because the owner he was going to replace his ball joints. That would have been a complete waste of time and money because the ball joints in this truck are perfectly fine. I've actually never seen a Nissan truck like Xterra or Frontier ball joint go bad. They're, they're pretty beefy. Um, but that shock bushing on the bottom is just blown out and metal to metal. That's it. Happy ending. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully this fix lasts a while. For now, Flagship One saved the day. So you got to give credit where credit is due. I know they've, uh, you know, in the past had some questionable <laughs> engine computers. But usually they come through and... I think their customer service has been getting better. At least that's been my experience recently. Maybe that's because, you know, if I 
make a video, then they're willing to try really hard. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the way it is. Appreciate everyone watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.